hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial today i'm going to talk about how to use to pass lab login in adobe photoshop so like many people among my fans are asking that i should come up with this tutorial so today i want want to talk about how to make use of this adobe a plugin which is to pass labs so without any further ado then let's get started don't forget to subscribe like and share this video okay so as you can see this is the image i'm going to use over here then i'm going to duplicate this image ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it down over here to duplicate it okay having duplicated i'm going to turn this one off for now then you can rasterize it or you leave it this way. Then I'm going to my filter. Then go to to pass lab. So over here, I'm going to show the most um, tools I use in to pass lab. So the first one is this to pass clean. So this is the first one I use in anything I do. And the second one is this adjust then the third one is detailed okay so i'm going on this first one first so just wait while it load all right so i'm going to skip this one away and over here then you can see so and these are the effects you are going to use and this is the collections of all the effects okay so when you select cartoon over here then and you go to this effects so anyone you select it will load and give a change to it so as you can see now you see the change that applied to the face then when you select another one then that is how it will continue changing okay and after the changing then you can also apply adjustment so then these are the area you can apply your adjustment to choose your own liking so by dragging all this one then it will continue to change so the more you apply all those effects that is the more it will change then you will continue all this until then you set the particular effect you want so if you want to create a cartoon so like now you can see this one you see the effect but it's not that cartoon so then you can increase the strength then you see the change now then the more you increase the strength that is the more it will change then and the stretch hold again you can see so i don't like the way it come out here so i have to drag it back then like this one now you can see that it's come up with a cartoon effect than the other one so then i also reduce it reduce it again and you see the outcome of it so the radius you can also increase and decrease it so until you get what you want then you can now apply okay so for me now then i will bring this one back then i will take this one then to this position then i will increase this one then you can see the sign of cartoon over there then also all this one then you open it then to apply effect to the edges you can see how it come if you don't like it then you take it back if you like it then you bring it to the expositions so i don't like the way it come up there then i will take it back then increase this one to see the outcome of it then anyhow it is then you continue to grade this way until you get exact what you want then also the sharpness how do you want it to to chop do you want it to look very sharp or do you want it 
to look smooth so there are differences there you can see the sharpness over here and you can see the sharpness over here so now i don't really like this one so then i'll bring it down over here then this is okay then if you want to apply texture then you click on this texture from here then you can act increase and decrease the type of texture you want so now when you increase the texture you will see that it will no longer become the cartoon you want again so it's returning it back to that image so then you have to then bring it back so this is how then you create a cartoon then from this side then you can also go to the second one and see the effect of this one how it look so then if there is anything you want to change then you continue applying your changes over here then like this one now it's okay i like the way it is like this then the boost you can reduce it a little then and the size also you reduce it a little all right then i'm going to close on this texture then and the sharpness i'm going to reduce it a little something like this okay then this is another cartoon so for us not to waste much of time though this is how you continue to grade and apply your adjustment over here until you get exact what you want then before you click on ok over here then another thing again is that if there is, if you don't want any of the style then you apply then you can reset it over here when you reset it everything will come back to original image then and this is backward and forward previous and next so this is the if use of this one so you can see now as it is when you press forward or backward previous it will go back to previous all right then the other one again we are going to clean this close this one then and another thing i would like to show you here again is how to save the presets so like under this place i did not save any preset under clean so like we talked before that under this cartoon for instance now i want to save a preset so after adjusting all this image and i like this the way it come out like this so the next thing i will do now then i'm going to click on this plus side then to save the preset then you will now rename the preset you want to then maybe i will use cartoon one or cartoon two so when you apply the name like this so any other things you want to apply here then you can type it then and click ok so then come down when you come down then you will now see the preset you created so with this preset now there is no need for you to stress yourself anytime you come up with uh, applying an effect to your image so this preset now will enable you to make it more faster for you without taking too much of time by grating and apply adjustment so this is the use of this preset because it will enable you your work to go faster than grating adjustment all right so and uh, like i said this is how you continue to test all these things you continue to test them to see the how it work all right then we are going back to another one then go back to your filter and you select then i'm going to go for this adjust 
then before we go to details so under this adjust then you can see the effects of it here anyone you click then you are going to you are going to see the effect of it on the picture then you can see the changes then let me zoom it out you can see how it apply on the image before and previous then when you select this one now exposure correction then from here then you can use your adjustment setting here to apply more exposure on the image then you can see now it's brighter than before before it's around somewhere the exposure is around somewhere here but when you take it here it will brighter the image more then you can see how it's grading the color then this is the construct no i don't like the way it is because it make the image more darker then i would like it to be more brighter like this something like this is okay then and the brightness you can see the effects darker and lighter but i don't want it to be more lighter like that so that it's not be white so i will leave it somewhere around this minus four okay then you can see highlight so now i will take this one back to point two then i don't want anything like shadow then if you want details then you can go to details then then also adjust the strengths you see how the strength is coming out you see so the strength then the boost you can see how it's coming out so if you are a kind of person that like things like this to on the image then under details here yeah, so this is where you come then to apply all this setting and it will boost the image and change the color of the image all right so and there is the threshold then under threshold here you can also see the effect of it how it change the image so you continue like this by creating more effects then this one i'm going to reduce the threshold like this and the radius then i'll play with it to see the outcome of it how it look like it's okay like this and the sharpness no the sharpness i think this will be okay then if you want to apply anything like adjusting the color then this is where you come again to apply adjustment on the color saturation so this is saturation look at the air when you look at the air of this image then you will know that this saturation is applying to the image now you can see that it's a little darker then when you increase the saturation you will see that the color of this hair is changing is changing then let me take it back then you will see look at it very closely then you will see that then is somehow darker a little then when you increase it then you will see how the color change okay so i don't need the color of that uh, hair like that so i will bring it back to this position and this one then you increase or you decrease it then until you see the effect of it so i don't need these ones then i will take it back 
then this one i don't need the saturation to brighten the image i don't like it so now you can see when you take it back like this then it will turn the image to black and white okay so then i will position it over here to bring back my image the way it is the saturation boost you can see the outcome of it so i don't need this one so i will bring it to this position to bring back my image so and this is noise so to suppress the the image then you can increase it so this suppression you see the effect of it is smoothing the the image as you can see before and after so you can see how it come out so i don't need this one so i will take it back and over here the amount you want you can decrease it or increase it already is around 75 then i will leave it like this because i like it that way now so this is the one we did now and if you want to save the preset just like we said before when you click on this save then you type the name you want to use on the preset then you will click ok to apply it and this one is the second one again then so this is how you continue to apply your testing on all these things to get the one you want then save the preset so that anytime you want to make use of it it will be more easy for you okay so now you can see the differences here so the way they all changes so you can come over here then and uh, apply your own change then and uh, select what you want okay so i'm going to close on this one then now we are going back to details so this is details under details now you have great if so you can see how the picture come out now this one now looks somehow blur then this one looks somehow enhanced so now when you click on this one then apply your setting over here it will give you different changes you want just like the way we have been doing from the beginning so you can see all right so when you turn it to this place now it will give you like an art image So it will give you something like this okay now take this one to the exposition to smooth the image then i will take this one somewhere around here then this one you can reduce it so i don't know if you are seeing something that is happening to that image when i reduce this one you will see that the edges it will hide the white line at the edges there then take it back then you will see you will see how it hide the brightness of the white line that appear on this image okay then you also try this one again this is medium boost then to see the effect of it the same thing is hiding the particular white line that is at the edges of this image so this is what we can see here so and this is tune to brighten the image or you reduce the brightness then i will leave it like this it's okay because i don't want the image to look somehow uh, like sun 
so this is how you continue to do it then if you see that you made a mistake and the, it has distracts all you have been doing so what you need to do is to click on reset then it will automatically reset everything you see everything will reset to zero 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 percent without any setting or default setting everything now is reset back to original default so you are to start again by creating your own preset again all right now we are going to select on something like this feature enhancement then on that here then you can start again by creating your presets by changing the adjustment setting here then and whatever you create here and you feel that okay this is okay then you now click on okay to save it then this is how you continue to create it so under this one now then i'm going to select here you can see this is black and white construct so like this black and white now you see it's very okay then you can apply all these posts then to change the effect something like this Then the brightness, I think I'm going to increase the brightness of this one because it's black and white. And then the constructs, I think it's going to be like this. So that every will not be um, white or bright. So you adjust it to so something like this. Then increase the brightness a little so you can see the difference of this one all right so this is how you continue to grace until like this all right and then again then we are going to select this interior strong then you go to this setting here then increase it to your own desire something like this something like this reduce this one okay then i'm not going to apply any tool on this then even the color here i'm not going to apply any of this so what i want here is this is this then after this one now then i will click on ok to apply it then go back to to pass lab on that here then you can still go back to that then you can now select on the skin smooth and brightness then you can adjust the setting you want again something like this then i will click on this one reduce it reduce it then you will have something like this then if this is okay for you then you create a preset so that next time you can make use of it all right so under here you can see i create a preset i create a preset on this one then but before you can see the preset I'm going to turn off this one then now we close this one then this one I'm going to duplicate it then turn it on 
and drag it up. Then I will go back to my two past labs and select details. I'll add it to load. Then I will zoom it out for you to see it very clear. Then and I will select it. So I grade this preset and this is what I mostly use because I don't want the image to look somehow good to look at. So this is what I use and um, this is what I use by grading this. This interior strong. So here is most what I normally use. So this is it and I grated it from this place. So as you can see now and then by adjusting then adjusting it then you can get it but not too much you reduce it something like this something like this reduce this one I will reduce this one so as you can see something like this then I will also reduce this one because I don't want the face to look somehow distorted so like this is okay then after you greeted it like this then you cannot save the preset just the way I said before then you save it and when you save it the preset will be on that here then anytime you can make you can come back and make use of it all right so having done this one now so the next one now for instance then i'm going to click on this to save it then you see the outcome then go back to your two past lab and i'm going to make use of clean now So under this clean then you can apply any of this one then you are seeing like blemish remover then ble blemish remover strong so you can make use of all this one you are seeing so under cartoon then I'm going to select this one then cartoon detail you can see then under this cartoon detail then you can reduce the strength then this threshold you can reduce it the radius you can reduce it then you come down the accent you can reduce it also the radius again under on that here then you can reduce all this one so you click ok to apply it now you can go to all these other effects here like image nomic portrait shot 3 then you apply it to smoothen the image All right so now i'm going to rasterize it then go back to my filter then i'm going to apply this skin final so this key final now so having applied it then you click on ok then under here you can adjust setting to smoothen the image the one the way you want it all right then and click ok Then you wait for it to load after load then this is it now you cannot make you make use of your image on your design so thank you so much for following then if there is anything you need to know in this tutorial please you are free to ask then and now we come up to keep you through through the tutorial Thank you so much for following. Don't forget to subscribe, then turn on the notification bell and share.